आई होप यू हैव अ कप ऑफ चाय विथ यू बिकॉज चाय इज दिस लव माई फ्रेंड्स चाय इज दिस लव हे गाइज हर शेयर एंड वेलकम बैक टू टेक्नोलो एज यू कैन सी वी आर बैक टू द सुपर कैजुअल सेटअप एंड आई हैव गॉट अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग वीडियो फॉर यू गाइज टूडे टूडे वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट अ कस्टम रॉम फॉर द मी इलेवन एक्स और द पोको एफ थ्री और द रेडमी के फोर्टी वट एवर यू वन कॉल इट इट्स द सेम स्मार्टफोन एंड दिस स्मार्टफोन इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग it comes with a snapdragon 870 processor and the custom rom support for this smartphone has been great so the rom that we're talking about today is cr droid and this is the first time i'm trying this rom on any smartphone a lot of you guys recommended this rom in the comment section and here we are talking about cr droid for the mail 11x So here we go. This is my Mi 11X and first up let me show you that the boot loader is unlocked. So we'll go to settings over here. We'll go to about phone and we'll tap the Mi UI version about, you know, 7 times. Then we'll go to additional settings, developer options and here we go. Mi unlock status the device is unlocked. Basically the boot loader is unlocked which means I can install TWRP recovery now. and then i can go ahead and install my custom rom so that's exactly what i'm going to do first of i'm going to go ahead and install twrp recovery for that i have my laptop over here and don't worry i will drop all the necessary articles and blogs in the description box below now as you can see twrp has been installed next up i'll go ahead and transfer the rom file into the smartphone and then go ahead and install it so let me quickly transfer it all right the rom file has been transferred now i'll click install and i'll go to the rom file over here click it and swipe to confirm flash as you can see it is now flashing the rom file we'll have to wait for you know like 5 to 10 minutes and then the flashing will be done all right here we go cr droid rom has been installed on my mi 11x smartphone right over here it says welcome to cr droid let's start english united states time zone is correct sim card i don't have a sim card over here wi fi i'll skip for the moment next next gesture navigation simple password fingerprint sensor yes so it has a physical fingerprint sensor on the power button over here and let's go ahead and set it up fingerprint added next skip and start wow that was a very easy setup process and very fast as well like a very you know clean and fast setup now let me quickly go into settings and check the android version so about phone android version and as you can see it is android 12 that is excellent so this rom is based on android 12 and i really appreciate that if we check the security patch security patch march 5 2022 that is excellent it comes with the march security patch and i really appreciate that now i cannot see any g apps over here so i will have to download g apps and flash them now i'm going to go ahead use this rom for a while and then i'll get back to you guys All right, here we go. So this is the CR Droid ROM running on Mi 11X based on Android 12. As you can see, I have set up quite a bit. It looks like a complete smartphone now. So this ROM does not come with G apps. You will have to install G apps. So make sure if you're downloading this ROM, install the G apps as well because that is very important. Now this is a stock Android ROM. You do get all the stock Android features. It's a very clean and minimal experience. You do not get any bloatware. You do not get any ads. It is stock vanilla Android 12 with all the new features. Material U is present over here, and you do get other features as well. Now this ROM comes with a bunch of customization options. So if we go to settings and scroll. down to cr droid settings you get a lot of customization options over here first up we have status bar you can change a bunch of things in the status bar the thing that i liked over here is battery style you can change the battery icon i have set it to a percentage you can also change it to icon portrait you can change it to a circle or you can change it to icon landscape i like the percentage one because that quickly shows me the battery percentage you can also you know turn on the battery bar so how much ever battery is left will show up in the top bar over here i do not like this feature so i'm going to just turn it off but if you want to you can turn that on next up is quick settings you can change the quick settings from here battery style battery percentage battery estimate and all these things going forward we have lock screen you can change the lock screen customization from here for example media cover art if you're playing some song or something like that the entire lock screen will fill up with the media cover of that song you have battery info small clock double tap to sleep you can double tap on the status bar to lock the smartphone you have fingerprint authentication vibration ripple effect and all these things then comes navigation navigation is a little bit boring then comes buttons you can customize the power menu from right over here so when you long press you get a menu and you can customize this menu from this screen if you want to add a particular button or remove a particular button you can do that from this screen 
Apart from that, you also have wake device, answer call, control playback, and you also have the option to end the call via the power button. Then comes user interface. You have ambient display, which is basically always on display. You also have the option of edge lighting over here. Whenever a notification comes, the edges will light up and you can change the color of the edge lighting as well. I am going to go for a teal one because that is my favorite color. Then if you go back, we have charging animation, full screen applications, screen off animation, navbar style, font style. You get a number of fonts over here. You can choose whatever you want. You have Samsung one, then you also have OnePlus Slate, OnePlus Sans, you have Ubuntu, but I'm just going to go for the default one because it's a pretty amazing font. And yeah, I like it. If we go back, we can also change the icon pack, the icon pack of the quick settings. You can change the quick settings. You have Oxygen OS, you have Rounded, you have Victor, Sam and all these things. Next up is notifications. You have noisy notifications, four stop button, heads up, less boring. You can also enable blink flashlight for incoming call. Next up, we have sound. In sound, the first option is pulse. If you enable this option, you will get a pulse right on the screen whenever you play a song. You can also push that pulse to the lock screen. Then you have volume panel on left. So if you want the volume panel to appear on the left you can do that so now the volume panel will be on the left and you also have a bunch of other options then comes the best part in this you know settings tab that is miscellaneous first up is unlock higher fps in games you can unlock higher fps options in games so if you're a gamer out there then you can use this option because this smartphone does come with the snapdragon 870 which is a very capable processor then you also have unlimited photo storage Basically, this device will act as a Google Pixel XL and that's how you will get unlimited storage on Google Photos. That's a pretty neat hack to be honest. Then you have three finger gestures to take screenshot. So like this, you can take a screenshot. Finally, you have about CR Droid. You will get to know about the official website, the developers, the GitHub page and all these things. Basically, this tab is an excellent one and you can customize your smartphone in a number of ways. I have not seen this in a lot of custom ROMs. The Android is doing a very good job over here. So a thumbs up to the developers. Now, if we talk about the performance of this ROM, I have not seen any major hiccups whatsoever. In fact, it is a very smooth and clean experience and the performance has been amazing. I also tried to play some BGMI and the experience was top notch. This smartphone does come with the Snapdragon 870 and I feel that it is one of the best processors out there because it does not overheat and gives very good performance. Now, same goes for battery life as well. Battery life has been top notch. I have not noticed any issues with battery life, especially with this ROM. Now, if you talk about camera, I am using Google camera over here. Let's quickly take a selfie. And yes, I am using Google camera over here. If you want to install Google camera on your Mi 11X, I will make sure to drop a link to that video in the description box below. You can go ahead and watch that video and then install Google camera on your Mi 11X. But yeah, overall, this ROM is an excellent one. It is a stock Android ROM. That means you will get that clean experience. You will get all the new Android 12 features and you will also get very good customization options while being stable. CR Droid is doing a very good job over here and I am impressed with this ROM. So as you saw, that was the CR Droid ROM on Mi 11X. It's a very clean, smooth and stable ROM. Now, if you want to install this ROM on your Mi 11X, you can follow these simple steps. First up, you will have to unlock the bootloader of your smartphone and you will have to install a custom recovery like TWRP recovery. If you don't know how to do these things, then don't worry, I've got you covered. I will drop links to articles and videos in the description box below, which will help you through the process of unlocking the bootloader and installing TWRP recovery. Once you are done with these two steps, you can download the ROM file and the GApps file and flash both of them and you will be good to go. All in all, I'm going to say I am impressed with CR Droid on the Mi 11X. Now you guys let me know which ROM should I try next on the Mi 11X. I would love to try some different ROM this time. So definitely let me know your favorite in the comment section down below. So anyway, that's been it. This was CR Droid for the Mi 11X. Do let me know how you feel about this video in the comments down below. If you like this content, go ahead that like button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel to mean the world to me. My name is Harsh Punjabi and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.